installed. Big day. So the windows are in. I'm just cleaning the van. And it looks pretty cool. Look, we've got windows. <gasps> totally on pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Hier so ein geheimer Garten? Ja. Da lang? Okay. Wow. Ja. Oh nein, ist da Wasser drauf? Kommt man da nicht so gut durch? Ja. Hm. Oh, ein Ball. Plumps. Wow. Gehen wir zurück? Ja. Ja, das ist alles Gras. Gemeintes ja, Gras. Vom Traktor, ja. das ist vom Rasenmäher. Oh. Pumpst du die ganzen Reifen auf? Danke. Ja, dann musst du wieder zurückgehen und andersrum. Oh. Mhm. There used to be these black panels that we've taken off. We've cleaned everything. And then we were trying to get these, all these little um, clips out, which is really hard. Like we just didn't really know how to get them out without scratching the paint. Hey, <laughs> we bought a tool. It came in a pack of, I don't know, I think 12 tools or something. Cody's gonna show you how to do it. Danke. So basically, you go under it with one of the sides. Oh no, this one doesn't have one, but with um, one of these little split sides. I leave this thing vertical, so I think that's... Anyway, it seems like it's easier. And then I just kind of really go underneath and push it to the side and then kind of pull it out. With some of the side panels, you will have the side lights. In order to take these off, really straightforward, there's a little grey clip. All you're doing is just pinch that towards the other side of the cable, pull it back ever so slightly, and it clips out like so. From there, pull the whole unit off of the light itself. This as well does come out.
<laughs> so we removed the side panels. Let's give them a good clean on the bodywork as well. Um, we did find, however, that the clips that hold the whole thing together, these little things, um, not fantastic for being reused. They tend to deform and they don't hold as solid in the panel work anymore. At least that's what we thought, or at least that's how it was. It seems if you warm them up a little bit, they hold in a lot better. I don't know if it's just because everything's expanded a bit, but you can still see like this one is a bit loose still. Um, and well, that one as well. Yeah. See. We did buy some cheaper clips. Uh, we got the cheapest ones, not thinking that it'd make any difference whatsoever. It makes a huge difference. These are shockingly bad. Really brittle, they seem to smash. So, uh, if you can, if you're gonna do it properly, go for the actual ones. Best way we found to get the side panels back on to the bodywork is to put the clips in to the side panels first. See the mastic, just a round, a nice generous portion, and then pop it in to the side of the van from there. When adding your side lights, to the side panels. You want to keep, there's usually a bit of text, but because, ah, there we go. You want to keep that text face up. So that way up, that way up, text up, and they just clip in to the back there. Nice and secure. When reattaching to the side of the van, just make sure that the clips are in You'll have the little cables, you'll see those when you remove them, if you remove them. And there's a little grey clip on top of that. You want to push that down to make sure that connection is solid. Because the last thing you want to do, which is what I did, is clip it all on and realise that the light doesn't work. Do it properly the first time, save yourself a lot of work. When the clip is in, you just want to make sure that that grey bit is pushed down like so. There you go. Stones? Yeah. You want to get some more? Yeah. 